Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing um, Rums Al Rasasi, Port Louis. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So as some of you might know, there's like a few in this uh, line, in this collection. There's um, an alligator one, there's a zebra one, and there's a cheetah one. It says Rums Al Rasasi 9409. Pretty sure the other ones have distinctive codes too, but... Um, yeah, so this is the box that it comes in. It's pretty simple, but it has a nice um, texture to it. They have like the crocodile skin kind of to make it rough. It's the same actually on the bottle as well, which is pretty cool. Um, other than that, just nothing special, very simple. The bottle is pretty nice. It's basically just a reflection of the, um, the box. Nothing crazy. This is kind of how like the Dolce & Gabbana one looks. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into smelling it. So initially, like the first thing I got is kind of like something um, sweet, um, fruity. Fruity would be a better word, kind of like melons. And it's just extremely Wow, it, it just smells like very tropical. This is how I would explain this. Very tropical. People say that this is a Sauvage um, by Dior clone. Um, I cannot testify for that. I don't remember how Sauvage smells like. I've smelled it before. Um, so I can't testify to that. But I've smelled a few other of uh, Rosasi's uh, clones and they're extraordinarily close. So um, just based off that, you could probably assume that it is. So this is just like very fruity, very fr very fresh, very fruity, very tropical. I really like it. it. Smells fantastic. This is really good stuff. So this is Eau de Parfum. So the longevity on this is pretty good. Um, about maybe six to eight hours. Um, what I noticed when I wore it was that I could really smell it lingering throughout the day, like at least at least eight hours worth. So it's really nice in that sense. Um, how far it projects, um, pretty good as well. Once again, it's a Middle Eastern uh, company. So Middle Easterns, they really make fantastic uh, quality colognes. Um, the thing is with this, you, you would not know this is from a Middle Eastern house. There's nothing foreign about this, um, about this fragrance. You know, like I said, people, they say it's a Savage um, clone. You know, there's nothing in this that would even hint that it's an Arab scent, which is what I like, actually, because you're getting the quality, you're getting the quality that is associated with Middle Eastern scents, but smells perfectly Western, you know, which is, which is nice, because, you know, you, you, know, you don't always want to wear something Oriental or, you know, or, um, uh, like Middle Eastern, musky and Oud, you know. So this retails for, I believe, about $40, um, it's 1.6 ounces, so it's not cheap. You know, it's, uh, but I, I really think it's a good, it's a good choice. Can this pass the gift test? I would say, um, yeah, absolutely. There's nothing offensive about this. It's a very clean, fruity, and fresh fragrance, you know. This is fantastic to be worn during summer or spring. Um, probably not for the colder times, but honestly, it smells so good that, like, it's almost, it's almost a year-round fragrance, but it's going to work best during, this, uh, during the uh, hotter and more warmer days is this safe to blind buy um tech um to be honest i blind bought this once i heard it was a clone of savage because everybody loves savage so to be honest if you can find it for a good price i don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't blind buy this it's a little expensive for um 40 dollars but i mean if you're comparing it to savage um this is parfum you know so it's probably better quality and i'm telling you guys middle eastern fragrances they do not disappoint with their performance it's just fantastic performance you i've never had a middle eastern fragrance where it's not working well it's crazy how well they work so once again it boils down to a price point um take this extremely with a grain of salt i'm not saying it smells like savage i don't remember how savage smells like it's been a while but people are saying this is what savage smells like it's a clone of savage um, just like the other ones in the line, there's two other ones with the cheetah and the zebra. I have the zebra one, I can review that one later, which is a uh, cl uh, clone of Creed Aventus and spot on. So I'm assuming, you know, just based on the um, quality of their other works that this is a good Savage clone. 
yeah guys um really if you can get your hands on this i would recommend it this is fantastic and i'm definitely going to be buying more of this um i really like this and i like the other one in the line i have one left to smell and hopefully i plan to get my hands on that too if i can get like a good price for it okay guys this smells good like this smells 40 dollars worth good i'm not disagreeing but i'm pretty sure that you can find it for less so you should especially because it's only um 1.6 ounces so i mean if if you compare that to like a standard 3.4 um it's about 80 dollars so it's not cheap once again these air fragrances are pretty expensive so if you can get it for a good price guys really 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 check this out fantastic stuff all right so that concludes the review for ramza rosasi ramza rosasi it means the symbol of rosasi and rosasi is the house sorry i did not make that clear in the beginning rosasi is the house so the uh the brand of this and Ramza Rasasi, it means the symbol of Rasasi or the um, logo of Rasasi, you could say. Ramza Rasasi 9409 Poor Louis. Very good stuff, guys. Overall rating, 9 out of 10.